Shocker Lane is back. Billy, Kyle, welcome. We have a lot to get to, so let's just jump in here. Okay, uh, here's the pitch. I want you to be the pitch man, okay? Okay. I'm not, I've said, hey, pretend you're Greg Marshall. I'm not going to do that anymore. Uh, I don't want to insult the man anymore. Oh. But <laughs> pretend you are a representative of the Wichita State men's basketball program, and you are uh, pitching Wichita State to a recruit, okay? Mm -hmm. That's going to be your deal. You do your thing. Why does this recruit, why does a recruit want to go to Wichita State? Why should they want to go to Wichita State? The role I will be taking is a coach of a, another program, not Wichita State. What might he tell a recruit, hey, you don't want to go to Wichita State because this. Okay, so we're, we're doing good okay, and bad here. Makes sense. Good cop, bad cop. Okay, <laughs> ready? Good cop? Yes. Um, there, there's, a, there's a recruit out there, and he's watching this right now. Why should that recruit, hey, buddy, we hope you're going to come. Why should that recruit go to Wichita State? Too many reasons to name. Oh, wow. So I'm just going to sit this one out. And it's over. <laughs> no. No. I mean, Wichita State has so much to offer. I okay. think the biggest factor, or one of the biggest ones, is this is a city of 400,000 people. It's the top 50 city in the nation. Um, and it's a city where there's no professional sports. There's no college football. So college basketball is king here. If you're a shocker, you're a celebrity. As soon as you become a freshman, you go outside your, your dorm, you walk around the city, and you get recognized, you get your picture taken. Um, and so if, if you want that fame, if you want that uh, you know, attention, if you want uh, an arena that fills 10,000 plus people every single game, even if it's Emporia State or Newman or you know, anyone else like that, you're gonna have fans every game. You're going to have a coach which is a top 10 coach in America, and Greg Marshall, one of the best. And, I mean, there's so much to go on there that um, if you're a recruit, you have to at least look at Wichita State because they're in a top seven conference. The Americans either sixth or seventh, depending on how you look at it. Almost every single game is nationally televised. This past season, every game in conference was on one of the ESPN networks or a CBS sports network or even CBS. And so, yeah, you look at all those factors, you say, hey, this is the place to be. If I want to be a great basketball player, if I want my game to be improved, if I want my fans and family to see me across the nation, then I'm going to Wichita State. Wow. That's pretty convincing. Okay. So, are we done? No, we're not done. Am I done. walking? No, no, we're not done. Because <laughs> what do you got, negative though dancing? I am on your side <laughs> within me, I'm going to play devil's advocate. I'm going to be the coach of the Houston Huskies. <laughs> or, or the Cincinnati Owls, or, or mm. um, uh, the Temple uh, Green Temple. Wave. Is that was that is that Tulsa? I think you're mixing up your I'm mixing some a bit. things up. Um, but there are coaches out there, and publicly they don't say that they trash other schools. But it, it would to. hard be hard to imagine not to. Right. So I'm gonna look at a recruit, and I'm gonna say, Hey, buddy, hey, uh, listen, you you got talent, man. But, but when you look at Wichita State, here's what you're looking at. You're looking at a program that's so much on the in-between. It's not a one-and-done school. It's not a Power 5 school. It's not a school that is just steeped in tradition like, say, a KU or a Kentucky or Duke. You're not getting that. But you're also not the, you're not the small school that could be a Cinderella. You're not the small school that there's no expectations. What you have at Wichita State is you have all the expectations, all the attention, but you don't have the the amenities or the resources of the the big dogs. So which one do you want to go to? Do you want to go that to that small school and be the star of everything? Okay, go there and no matter what you do, you're going to be you're going to be great and you're going to be loved. Or do you want to go to that place where you can be a one and done and go to the NBA immediately after just you know getting into a program? Wichita State's not either one of those. Okay, so let 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 me just let me just let you know you could you could have so much high expectations. If you go to Wichita State, you better make the Sweet 16 at least. You probably need to make the Elite Eight. Do you want that pressure? Is is that what you want? Because, and also, you're going to it. It's, it's a small school compared to uh, a, a lot of the, the, the bigger schools out there, a small program. Um, it's still kind of learning. And, boy, they kind of underachieved this year, didn't they? Oh, <laughs> man. 
Okay. I'm going to stop right there because people are going to start hating me and thinking that that's what I believe. But that's my I'm best. I'm already ready that's, to fight you. That's my best pitch. Kyle, uh, counter, counter response. You've mentioned a couple of things. You said okay. amenities aren't the same here. Yeah. And I would disagree. I think the Shockers have power five amenities. Okay. You have a terrific arena. You have practice facilities. Good arena. Yeah, absolutely. You have brand yeah. new dorms on campus. You have a head coach that has a private plane at his disposal. Okay. And goes whenever he wants to to recruit. The team travels via plane for every game, except for maybe Tulsa or something like that. Okay. Um, so they fly charter plane for every game. And so they have the amenities. You also mentioned that there's a I lot think of that, pressure. I think it's here. getting there. I don't think, I, I, you know, the, Coke Arena is awesome. It's a great environment, but I, I don't think it's as as big as it. it part of the great environment is it's it's kind of small and everything. Everybody's on top of you. You know, you're not playing in front of twenty, thirty thousand people. You can't. Um, there, there are bigger venues to be to to play at, and then also, uh, you know, I've I've been to Chapel Hill. I've seen what UNC and and those locker rooms and what those are like. They are amazing. Wichita State is is, is good, but on a recruiting trip, I don't think they can compete with, say, North Carolina, Duke. So you know some of those other ones. Just, yes. Yeah. And I'm not arguing against. Yeah. If if you're a recruit and you have an offer for North Carolina or Wichita State. Mm-hmm. That's not a very difficult That's decision. true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. Uh, uh, and so there, there is a point there where the, the top 10 programs in the nation, Wichita State isn't competing against those on the recruiting yeah. trail. Yeah. It's more of the middle tier Power Five, the Big East, uh, and, and other schools like that. And so mm-hmm. Shockers have a lot to offer. You also mentioned that there's more pressure here, which kind of surprised me because um, I think there's a lot less. Do you think so? I think it's we're now at a point at the program where – each year we're expected to go to the NCAA tournament. Mm-hmm. But, 100%. Yeah. yeah. And so I, I don't think there's an expectation where we have to get to the Sweet 16 or the Elite Eight, like you said. You don't think so? Well, I, like a school like Kansas or Kentucky, man, if you don't make the least Sweet 16, what a terrible team. You're playing, mm-hmm. you're awful. I think it depends. It's a failure. It depends on who you're, who you're saying, who the expectations are. National media, maybe they don't expect Wichita State right. to, to go Sweet 16 to Elite Eight. Fans do. The city does, I think. I don't think so. You don't think so? I, think, so. I think there's hope. I expected it this year. I tell now, you this that. year, yes, yeah. for sure. That's yeah. a completely different story. But okay. most seasons, you know, if we make the Sweet 16, okay, great. That's a good season. Okay. But I don't think there's that expectation where it's a, a sort if of a, a boom or bust. It was a bad season. Right. Hmm. I, I, don't, I don't sense that. <laughs> We're close. I could be wrong. The program is close to being there if it's yes, not there already. Yes. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> is that all you got? Well, I mean, I'm just I'm worried about emails that I'm going to get that people hate me now because they think I, I I'm just playing devil's advocate. I'm tempted there. to give out your email I'm, right I'm now. Throwing that, don't do that. <laughs> I um, got his phone number too if you want. Okay, it. hey, let's not do that either. Thank you. Um, uh, at Shoggerland is where is where you go with that. Um, we'll screen them out for no, you. No, and that's that's it. I think with and any program that's going to rise and challenge the big dogs, they're going to have the established programs come after them. They're going to have, uh, all of a sudden, you know, the recruits that, that Wichita State has, other coaches are going to start coming after them because those recruits are now worth coming after. So Wichita State has to kind of think in terms of that way, and they have to know what the weaknesses are of the program to be proactive about that, I think. It's, yeah. it's smart to do and that. And recruiting is yeah. a battle. This is a good exercise. I mean, oh, it's, 100%. You, there, yeah. there are sharks out there. You have opposing yeah. schools. You have opposing families. You yeah. have AAU members. You have shoe companies. Yikes. And so you have all these variables. And yeah. so you have this recruit that you think you have a good chance of landing, then all of a sudden – this recruit yeah. has all these other voices coming at him saying, oh, don't yeah. go to Wichita State. Go someplace else. Can I tell you real quick, another, uh, a third factor coming in that could really hurt Wichita State recruiting and all other of these um, programs that are on the precipice of being amazing programs is uh, the G League that the NBA uh, yeah. is doing now where uh, the, the very talented basketball players can now just skip college altogether, go to the G League and – Make and make money. money. And yeah. and it's becoming more substantial money. It's not minor league baseball money anymore. It's it's basketball and, and it's it's not as good as the NBA, of course, but I think the NBA is intentionally trying to pump the G League into something that is far more attractive than college basketball for some type of high school athletes. So that's that's yeah, something to that watch. That is something to watch. Yeah. Uh, 
I, and I would love to see Wichita get a G League Now, that team. would be fun. Oh, that would that be would amazing. Be fun. I think the city could yeah. support it. Yeah, definitely. Um, but you mentioned how that might hurt Wichita State. And I don't think it would. Well, any, think, in any program in general, just college basketball in general. It, yeah. Yes, in general. Because yeah. I think Not it would just kind of knock shocking. down every school when it comes to recruits. Yes. And so yeah. it would be kind of balanced across the board. I think there can um, exist college basketball and a thriving quality G League. Um, I think so. I mean, it happens in baseball. There's college baseball. Right. There's minor league baseball. And it works. Um, but something needs to change with yeah. college basketball, whether to pay the players or to, or the NBA needs to allow it where you can come to the NBA right out of high school like it used yeah. to be with LeBron. Yeah. And so something needs to be tweaked. Yeah. Um, that, that's a whole other debate there. I kind of let us off on that. But um, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's your good and bad for recruiting news for Wichita State. Um, don't hate me too much. You know, you can give us what you think about uh, give, give us your thoughts at Shockerland on Twitter, uh, Shockerland Facebook page, and then Shockerland.com as well. Thanks for joining us in the off season on Shockerland.